tend to. What's up, YouTube? Jeff back again today with a very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today, well, in fact, this whole week, it's been absolutely insane. Been covering new foldable stuff, Galaxy Watch Ultra, Buds 3 Pro, and then all these One UI 7.0 leaks. And yes, we have even more information for the fourth day in a row about One UI 7.0, the look of it, some crazy stuff Samsung is trying. I'll be talking a little bit more about that today. Before we get started, I do want to thank my four-year-old son, Jonathan. we got a couple animals hanging out background as usual. we got the cheetah and the lion. He always gives us a couple to hang out. He loves being part of the videos. We do appreciate him. Also, if you guys haven't yet, make sure you go sign up. The Galaxy S25 Ultra Mystery Box sign-up page is now live. You sign up here on our Lalo page. We will text you links on pre-order day. You can use our affiliate link to order, and you get a free mystery box, free case, cleaning kit, desktop, phone stand, other randomly inserted goodies. We got big things planned for this box. So if you're going to be ordering Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, S25 Ultra, do check out the link below to get in touch with us for that. So um, let's go ahead and talk about it. I bookmarked a bunch of stuff as I've been doing the last few days over on Twitter as these leaks have been coming out fast and furiously over there. And I'll kind of just go through them here. The first one here is this new pill-shaped design. We actually can see a lot of things here. If you look here at the bottom, though, you'll see the new pill-shaped design for the super fast charging. Uh, and you see it says super fast charging. It's got a little like lightning bolt. Still says swipe to open, just like traditional Samsung phone. This is actually the S24 Ultra stock wallpaper they're using here. They've changed kind of this design and shape here of these icons at the bottom here, the quick, uh, quick actions. And then up here in the status bar, you can see they've got a clean redesign with the battery percentage now inside of the indicator itself. I actually don't mind this after having seen it here. It looks pretty decent. Not a huge fan of this pill shape. It looks half-baked, doesn't look great. I'd like to see them improve things there. This is apparently the quick settings uh, page. So you can see here, uh, it's still going on the same, you know, icons and everything. You can kind of see the two different versions, the fully expanded. Now, hopefully these are gonna be customizable just like on iOS 18. I'm not a huge fan of them having the notification page and quick settings separate, but as long as we can do a quick swipe and I could customize all these size and shapes of the tiles like in iOS 18, I actually think that is a positive thing to steal or borrow from Apple because it does increase usability. Uh, and at the end of the day, I think it'll be something that's good for everyone. So you can see lots of people not too happy about it if you kind of scroll through. Here's the one again with another uh, shot of that pill. Again, a lot of these are low resolution because they're photos taken of people's screens who are not supposed to be sharing these leaks early, obviously. You can see that down there again. One UI 7.0 status bar and more. Uh, here's the quick panel again. You can see the music widget is still there. So thankfully, they did not get rid of the music widget. That's great. Up next, let's take a look at the new dynamic island I was talking about yesterday. It's actually more of a live activity that goes in and out of your status bar. This is the stopwatch as an example. I think it looks pretty interesting. It's not exactly the dynamic island. A couple of people commented on this yesterday in the video I made talking about the dynamic island. I actually like this a little bit better because it does minimize it when you're not using it, but you can still see it's there. But the animation is quite bad. I'm not someone who usually gets annoyed by particular animations, but this one does not look good. Samsung definitely needs to improve it before the official release. Down here, you can see some of those new icons, including the store, gallery, themes, Samsung Assistant. Uh, down here, Vtrox rendered all of the big icons that have already leaked. As I said yesterday, I think this internet icon looks phenomenal. The gallery icon definitely needs some work. In my opinion, the camera and settings icons could also use some work, although the camera icon has grown on me a little bit, particularly if they allow us to have the dark mode option from iOS 18 uh, to turn all the icons dark. I think this icon looks okay in dark mode, but I really would like them to get rid of this multicolor flower on the gallery widget. That's just me personally. Let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, and then another person here talking about the live activities uh, that were introduced in One UI 4, but not quite in the way that it's being introduced here. Uh, he's saying that we've had this for a long time. That's not really true in the sense that they're adding it here to the status bar, although it has been there where you can kind of move around your stopwatch or whatever and minimize it on the home screen, just not in this form. And then here's the notifications, which perhaps look worse than anything. Presumably this is the lock screen. You see the new rounded kind of bubble design that Samsung is going with overall. This does not look great in my personal opinion. Uh, I don't know why they're going with this particular design, but it, they definitely need to change this. Presumably this is when the content is hidden on the lock screen and you're just seeing like the application that's sending the notification, but I really don't like that too much at all. Anyway, I'm curious what you guys think. We're supposedly going to be getting this uh, 
perhaps next week even, it's very possible. Ice Universe weighed in and said that Samsung's current version is so buggy that they should not release it. So uh, we'll have to see if they're going to release it or not. But if they do, I'll have a full review of One UI 7.0 Beta 1. Get subscribed to the channel for that. Appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.